COVID-19 is affecting people, businesses, and communities around the world. And while this is bad news for Canadians, it's great news for some terrible people who are cashing in on our anxiety about the disease. Joining me this morning via Skype to remind us about the importance of being vigilant and avoiding these scammers, as well as reporting them, is Patrick McKean from the Better Business Bureau. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Duo. All right, let's get right to it because there's a lot that's happening. And the first one that I think is probably the most prevalent right now is getting those masks. Absolutely, absolutely. There's, we're seeing a ton of, of incidents around around fake products and fake treatments. The masks are the first amongst those. Mm -hmm. there's, there's lots of um, masks that are the N95 masks that are counterfeit and with fake uh, certification stickers on them. Uh, we see some even worse than that. We see products that are available for sales. Uh, consumers go to buy them and they get nothing in return. It's a fake website that just... Uh, bad guy trying to get your uh, get your credit card information. And do you know the kind of numbers that might be for those kind of sites? Have you getting a lot of reports on that? We're getting a, getting spikes all over the place, yeah. Steve-O, but the, the actual numbers themselves, so it's really hard to keep track of. Right, for sure. Uh, and of course, you're saying like most local retailers will be sold out of these masks. And if you see it online, it might be too good to be true. Well, that's what happens. They, so if somebody feels so, you know, first off, the bad guys, they need uh, people that feel vulnerable mm -hmm. to be successful. And people really feel vulnerable given this, the, the COVID-19. So that's tons of people that are, are feeling like they need to do something. And so they go to their local store and they can't find something that they're looking for. They go to a website that they, they might have been able to buy from in the past successfully and can't find what they're looking for. And then they reach out to somewhere that they've never been. They put some credit card information. They don't get their product. And now they've given their credit card information to a guy who's demonstrated they're more than willing to steal from them. Yeah, which is terrible stuff. So we go from the mask to uh, that medicine, that medicine that's going to cure all and, and be preventative during this situation. Uh, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? Better Business Bureau has been around since the snake oil salesman days and people promising miracle cures. And that's exactly what's, what's starting to emerge here. Um, there's a report yesterday that the... Um, the Food and Drug Administration and the Federal Trade Commission in the United States actually issued letters to seven different companies that um, were making exaggerated claims. Oh, wow. And, and they're saying that this is essentially a risk to public health by making these kind of claims and making these irresponsible offers. Well, that's it. If you're thinking you've seen something all natural and it's going to fix you or make sure that you're not going to get the virus, and then you're going out and potentially risking yourself and others in that situation. That's it. And donations, everybody's looking to help at this time as well. And we got to be aware of that because there are definitely some scams in that sense. Diva, the bad guys, they can be really creative. They look, they can create a website or some information that looks like that's very legitimate. Uh, sometimes it can be as simple as noticing some misspelled names or the URLs that don't match what you're used to as a way to be able to see the, the separate the good guys from the bad guys. Because obviously we want to try and help the guys, the, the organizations that are legitimate. Mm -hmm. But... Um, yeah, so it's, they can be very good at uh, creating uh, uh, sites that look real, and uh, it's easy for for people to separate uh, separate you from your money if they uh, win with these offers. And speaking of separation, we're also to be practicing social distancing, which is probably going to be the word of 2020 when it comes out at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, but for people that are working at home, what do they need to be aware of? Well, we are seeing as well a spike in uh, phishing. Uh, scams. This would be some way that the uh, consumer who's working home, trying to keep business going, and uh, they feel more uh, secure because they're working behind a virtual private network, and it's in fact the data that's in that network that's really valuable to the the bad guys. So um, things like a map that has um, the incidents of of the breakout in your area. Click on the map, and all it's really doing is downloading some um, some malware. Um, and look, also details about a coronavirus, uh, some, some prevention ideas, those kinds of things, Any, anything that you might click on in order to try and get more information, you click on it and you're not actually getting the information, you're getting, a, getting malware down, downloaded onto your computer. So if you had one sentence to kind of summarize it in advice to everybody watching right now, what would that be? Well, as you say, the, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. The other thing is, is that don't believe that it can't happen to you. Mm -hmm. It's part of the news with regards to coronavirus. It's also part of the news re regarding protecting yourself. If you, the best thing you can do is, is consider the possibility that it might actually happen to you 
and it's your best defense. There you go. Patrick McKean, thank you so much. If you spotted a scam, whether or not you've lost money, report it to bbb.org slash scam tracker. We'll have that up on our site as well, and you can report. It can help others and avoid falling victim to scams. We've got more BT coming up.